Let's talk about um, choosing a hat to suit your face. This is something I'm been, I've been talking about for a little while. Now, um, your face and your body type. Basically, some things I look for. Uh, somebody who's very short, um, a very petite person who's just, you know, obviously not going to fit into every hat here. You, you want to look a lot at the crown, um, but for me, with fur felt hats, I can adjust the crown. So that's, you know, it's there and it's not, you know. Certain things I could just bring down. Um, I'm gonna go through this again. This is a really important move and a really easy move you could do yourself to lower a crown on a hat. You could do it with steam the proper way or just without steam, you know. It won't really lock it in, but eventually it'll kind of lock it in just through wearing it that way, you know, pinching it and getting ringed on, a shape just locks in naturally too. Um, when you lower the crown of the hat, you're basically lowering this part right here, this little point, this beak. That's the, what gives you the appearance of a high crown right here. So if I lower this to here, I don't have to lower the whole hat, just that basically, because a lot of these hats even come up over there. If you lower that at a sort of slant, you know, kind of like ease it, taper it off, you know, uh, no one will notice that it's altered. It's, it's something like, okay. It's like making, there's a little U shape here, okay, to you. See the U shape? You, you just make that lower. So, okay, I'm gonna invert it. This is what I do. I just bring it down. 
then I neaten it up, make sure it's symmetrical and everything neat, and look at it from different angles. So it's lower now. It was up there. It actually even looks better. It looks kind of boxy over there. So when I bring it down to my height, I feel like it has more like that letter M kind of thing going. You know, this looks more right to me. It looks more proper, much less being altered. I mean, it's low. It's a low crown now. Not everybody likes a low crown. Most people do, though. It's very rare if somebody says the crown's too low. I mean, they do, but most of the time, everybody says the crown's too high. So anyway, getting on a tangent here. Um, when I'm choosing a hat for a small person, not a tall person, um, the crown is first, has to be low. You just, that's number one. You can't have a high crown. So, yes, you can lower the crown on some of these, but you're looking for things that are lower. Generally, the teardrops can be a little bit lower than the center creases. Um, the teardrop is somewhat of a device to lower a center crease. Let me show you. Here's a center crease most basic of all fedora creases. It's two pinches on the side and a crease, like a little valley. Okay, if I want to lower the shape, we're, we're going to lower all this meat in the back here. We're going to bring it down. This is what we do. We teardrop it. Bring it down, 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 down. See what I did? Got rid of all this stuff that was up here. Okay, bring it down. And then you stick your head in there because obviously you need the headroom, and when your head's in there, there's your teardrop. So it's basically a bringing it down thing. So your head goes in the middle, makes that little bump. Okay, so teardrop is bringing back the back half of the hat, bringing it lower. It also makes it look boxier. It's a little off, but whatever, you know, you get it. It looks more nostalgic, like those old black and white uh, TV shows and movies. Like, remember Superman? He used to jump out the windows in those office buildings in black and white. Everybody used to wear those hats. They all had these sloppy teardrops because guys used to buy their hats open crown and salesmen would give it to him and they would break it down themselves. They would basically do that, what I just did, you know. Um, Teardropping it is a way to bring it down. So, teardrops are generally going to be lower. Don't hesitate if the guy can lower the crown for you have him do it it's going to be a better shop not like a whatever brothers uh mall chain hat type of store those generic generic type places won't lower your crown so just go with a low crown if you're short Bam. okay can you do a big brim yes maybe you can't do a three and three quarter inch brim you could do a three or if you can't do a three inch you could do a two and a half Everybody can do a big brim, but maybe you can't do it as big as the next guy, the taller guy. You do it slightly shorter. But as long as you bring that top down, you could get away with that really big brim. It's, it's a balance. You can't have both big brim and tall top. Come here. All right, it's too late. My son wants to get on camera. This is Sydney from JJ Hat Center. Say hi. Sydney from JJ. You ready? You wanna sing it? Here we go. From Sydney from Poopy from JJ. Alright, go go play with your mom. Let me finish the video. Sydney from Poopy. Come on. Um, I was talking about short people now. Now, if your hat is very, very, very tall, it can be lowered. You could bring it to me. Um, Kevin can lower the crown of your hat and um, you can also suggest things that are low for you. Now, big brims are kind of like a trend now, big brims and flat brims. So if you're gonna be doing a really big brim and you're short, lower the crown, just balance it out, you know. You can do these huge brims as long as you don't have this like really crazy. Okay, now what other types are there? There's narrow faces, people who are very, very narrow faces with the skinny faces, you cannot do big brims. You gotta keep the crown narrow and the brim narrow. Um, okay, he's gone. Alright. Sydney from JJ Hat Center. We had a guest star, huh? That was that was rare. Alright. Getting back to body types now. Now if you have a big pudgy face, like you know big face 
Um, hey, you're American. Welcome to, welcome to America. Uh, we're the most obese country in the world. Um, anybody here who is obese is kind of considered just like regular, you know. So it's not a big deal. Food is twice the size here, you know. Sushi is twice the size. Yeah, everything is twice the size in America. Bigger is always better here. So, you know, if you're big, um, one of the things you got to make sure is you got enough headroom, okay? So if you're doing a center crease and that little, that little bump is coming in there and hitting you in the head, um, you can teardrop it. Have somebody raise the crown. And you don't even have to do a f full teardrop. You could do what I call a bubble crown, which is where you just take a little bubble and you raise it on the top of a center crease so it looks like you have a center crease, but it's just really deep. Kind of like, here's your center crease, there's a little bubble. So have me bubble crown it for you. Now, if you have a big face, generally you need a bigger brim, but not always. I've seen big guys get away with like some pretty short brims. I'm gonna say one and three quarters is okay for you. One and three eighths inch brim, maybe not. That's a really shrimpy pork pie, like the Morgan or the Stetson Vector one. Those are too small for really, you know, for a big guy. Um, but you can do a two inch brim, you could do a one and three quarter inch brim, which was considered shrimpy, tiny, stingy brim. Now it's considered like a medium brim because they go all the way down to like one and three eighths and smaller. Um, I'm gonna say this, um, put it on. If it makes you look fat, don't get it. If it makes you look good, get it. I'm gonna say there's a window for everybody, not one hat. So if you wanna go with a small brim and you have a huge face, um, just don't go teeny tiny, go go two inch. Uh, if you want that kind of Bronx tail look, you know, like that small brim, Blues Brothers, cool, bluesy look, go two inch. Um, same thing that my face would do also. Um, you wanna do one and three quarter inch, that's about as small as you should do. That's like the Stetson Inwood. We call it the Asher on our website, I believe. <laughs> size are going to give you different looks. So if you want to suit your face, I'm going to say shorter brims will look more conservative, bigger brims will, will look more relaxing and more relaxed and more fashionable. Younger, more fashionable, more laid back. Shorter brims are going to probably look a little bit more conservative. Um, until you get really short, then it's like, you know, a funky jazz kind of thing, like a pork pie and stuff. But anyway, this is one in the series of four. I'm gonna keep this up um, about your face shape and face type and body type. Right now, my son really wants to play, as you can tell. So I'm gonna get over to him and stuff. And I just wanna say thanks again to viewer Scott Raymond for giving me this beautiful, beautiful ovation celebrity in mint, perfect condition without a single scratch on it. I will use it so well, believe me. I'm already using it well. I'm learning lots of stuff on it. Hey, so don't forget to watch more episodes of Heaven from that old chair.